Hi folks, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, I wanted to show you guys uh, Google Play running on Fire tablets. Uh, like I just posted about this the other day, uh, the good folks at XDA have discovered that you can just in easily install these uh, Google apps onto the uh, $49 Fire tablet and the Fire HD 8 and 10, and you magically have a Google Play going. So here it is right here. Um, you can install that, and then you got access to all the Google apps and Google features and you can like use their movies and install apps uh, Google's main apps as you can see right here I got the uh, Chrome web browser installed and it does work very well I like it a lot better than the Silk browser because it doesn't it has more features and it uh, gets rid of the uh, bar up here when you scroll so you get more screen real estate where with the Fire uh, Silk browser it kind of leaves it there and clogs the part of the view so it's really cool having that feature so this is really easy to install thanks to uh, Root Junkie. You put together a uh, script to automatically install. Basically, all you have to do is plug your Fire into your computer and it'll install all this stuff itself. There is no rooting involved. It's just basically installing the apps. I don't know how long Amazon's going to let this remain open, so there's a chance they could close this off with a future update. It works with Fire OS 5.0.1. Uh, it's super easy. Uh, it's all outlined. Uh, right here, Root Junkie has a video as well, so it's really easy. Some a lot of people have problems with uh, drivers not recommending uh, recognizing your uh, Fire tablet from your computer. The ADB drivers are a bit of an issue. I had the issues myself. I'm to describe how to fix the problem here if you encounter those problems as well. So I'll ha have the link to this article below the video as well as uh, Root Junkie's link here. So the install process is really easy. Basically, all you have to do is download the zip file from Root Junkie to your computer, extract the file. Then you go into settings on your Fire tablet and you tap, uh, go to device options and you tap your serial number like eight times and it will open this developer options option right here. Then you just go into enable ADB, you just enable that right here because it will be turned off by default. And you get the prompt there and then you basically just have to double click on a file that you uh, extracted from Root Junkie and then it will automatically install a uh, uh, Google Play Store and you'll be good to go. If you have any driver's issues like I did, I wasn't recognizing my device so I had to go in and do a couple of things with the driver's issue, uh, reinstall the driver. So uh, that's basically it to get Google Play on here. Uh, it's really easy actually, it only takes a couple of minutes. It's like I said, it works with the $49 Fire tablet. That's the one I got going here. I also successfully installed it on the Fire HD uh, 8. So we got Google Play going on there as well. Uh, everything seems to be working well. So the sign in works well. Uh, you sign in with your uh, Chrome, the Chrome tabs work, or bookmarks recognized from your desktop and everything like that. I haven't had any issues. Some people are saying Gmail wasn't working right, but uh, I've had no issues with Gmail. It's working just fine. I installed these apps as well. Um, no problems. They all seem to be working fine. So it's basically like a Google tablet now um, in addition to being the Amazon tablet. So you got Google's apps, you got Amazon's apps. Uh, and a good thing to remember is the Amazon App Store has the, a lot of like games that are free that are actually paid on the Google Play Store. So like, for instance, Riptide 2, it's like two bucks on the Play Store, but it's free in the Amazon App Store thanks to their underground thing now. So uh, keep that in mind though. You, you can have the other apps on here with Google Play, but you might actually be able to get them free from Amazon. So it's nice having both of them on here either way. So I also even installed the Google Keyboard on here and was surprised to find that it works well. You can use the swiping. If you don't want to use the manual typing, you can swipe to type. Uh, and you got the additional features of the keyboard, even the voice. Uh, features of Google's working. Um, so yeah, it's really cool having these extra features on here. So I tested out the uh, Google uh, Movies app and uh, the videos even play quite well on here. So now you got Amazon's videos and Google's videos on the tablet, so that's definitely a bonus. So yeah, that's just a look at the Google Play Store running on Amazon's Fire tablets. Good, uh, big thanks to the folks at XDA for figuring this out and Root Chunky for putting together that uh, uh, zip package that easily installs it. So uh, like I said, I'll have the links below the video if you want to try this on your Fire tablets. Uh, just make sure in the future to check out this thread though because uh, at XDA because you never know what the future updates are going to have, what kind of effect they're going to have on this. So I mean, it could break this in the future. It's uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It depends on how Amazon. Uh, handles this moving forward. So I'm going to wrap up this video right here. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe and you all have a good day.